Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Luffy Murdoch here and doing an episode review of The Promised Neverland episode 6. So yeah, let's get started. And today's episode, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're where we begin where we left off, is where we, uh, the, the two kids, for, I totally forgot their names, uh, Nile and Eugene. I don't know, no, 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 it took different what characters, but anyway, but they um, basically, uh, yeah, if uh, some of you was opening the door as they were looking into like the secret base and that sort of thing, and yeah, they go in and see, and then, thankfully it was a mum or anything, so that's a good start to the episode. And then I think I'll, I'll, they proceed to go down into the uh, secret thing, and then they begin to see like what how evil and conniving mum is and everything. As she keeps, as she keeps um, all of the toys that the kids leave over before they die, um, as like trophies, I believe. I'm not really hundred percent too sure, Tonsia. But yeah, uh, so they're freaked out, and they know that Norman and Ray have been lying, and they have been lying to them. Like they say, they don't know that they've been killed or anything like that. So yeah. And also, Emma, being the intelligent girl that she is, she finds out there's um, an author who's delivering Morse code to all of the students. Um, what the pretty much is, is like a label and it's a circle, and then they, uh, yeah, just go through all the all the things, or they go through like do the Morse code. It's like a circle, but it has light lines. You go watch the episode and you'll see what I mean. Like Emma's stuff, very clever to figure out. Every book has like different like markings for the Morse code and that sort of thing. That's pretty, it's pretty freaking smart, honestly. Yeah? So yeah, and yeah, um, but then there's um, they'll go back to the two kids in the uh, uh, secret mum's secret basement, and then yeah, uh, they get they get really scary because really scary. And they almost get caught, but luckily a woman, like a kid, comes in and looks out um, and takes uh, mum's attention away from her. Uh, the little two kids are trying to like break into a secret basement, and then they escape scot free. And then they confront um, Emma, Ray, and Norman, and um, basically they explain to everything what's going on because they've seen all the uh, dolls and everything. So uh, then they uh, then the dudes. Gives uh, Norman and Ray uh, a good go wall of peach, good punch each. I don't really blame them, Tonsia, yeah, because they're like putting like themselves above everyone else, and that's not cool at all. And I, like, they're just thinking, oh, we're the ones that need to survive, and everyone's like, will pull us back and everything, which is pretty much how they felt when they found out. And they got they got away scot free with all this little stealing, but you know what I mean. But yeah. Anyway. Then, uh, then they uh, they go outside and they basically make up and that sort of thing. And yeah, then we cut to a scene where Ray is like, oh, well, Ray find, um, notices someone like in the background, like checking up on them. And yeah, not good. And uh, then uh, then we get to then we get to see like um, the dudes that punch that Ray and Norman, uh, collecting things for him. Uh, just um, like ingredients and that sort of thing, and this is a really intelligent part from Norman's part. Um, Ray's like dobbing him in and stuff, like not in, obviously intentionally on behalf of like the other kids and stuff. Uh, but he's like saying like, "Oh, Norman wants to kill uh, Mum and stuff." She got like, she guys get scared about that. Oh, like, that's pretty, that's a bit scary, and yeah, that's that's pretty interesting, and so yeah. And then we cut to the bit where, um, basically, Norman uh, says, uh, or uh, they were talking about it, like Norman, uh, uh, Emma, and the other two kids talking about um, their escape and stuff, and the, and the sister finds out what's going on, and she says, oh, can I join in? And they're like, oh, I caught you, sort of thing. So yeah, today's episode was pretty good. I'm really sorry for the like. It's not very good. Or it's like it's a pretty decent review. Um, it's just I'm not, it's not as long as per usual. 
Uh, I, got, I got introduced to a spoiler later, which happens probably next episode. And I got pissed at it. Not because it's bad or anything, it's just because, um, yeah, it's just I don't want to be spoiled on the series and that kind of really irritate me. Like, people need to shut their mouths. <laughs> Even though it shouldn't, but like, come on, seriously. Anyway, guys, thank you much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.